Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my third tutorial on AM Designer. Today we're going to be talking about subforms. Now, subforms are absolutely indispensable for good form design. They're just incredibly useful for organizing your form, making sure you don't get lost, and for avoiding a lot of headaches down the line. Now, what is a subform? A subform essentially is, it acts as a wrapper for several pieces of content. And in this in this sense, it helps you stay organized. So I'm just going to hop into my first master page here. We're going to be using the same document that we covered last time in the master pages tutorial. So if you can take a look at MP1, so my first master page, and we have it outlined like this. So we have our top subform, a couple of lines for formatting purposes, and then a bottom subform. Now, so typically you, what you want to do is you want to wrap your content in subforms either by area or by, or if you're making more of a flowed layout, then you want to wrap it by, um, you know, in a, such a way that the flowed layout would make visual sense and it, it would just look aesthetically pleasing. Now, for our top subform, right now we're positioned. We are positioned. Now we'll go over the different difference that between those two, between positioned and layout contents, in the next video. But for now. Just know that our top subform is positioned, and so we can just use it more as a visual organization tool. So, what is within this top subform? So, we have more lines, we have more text objects, we have lines, then we have text fields, and notice how everything is in the precise order. Now, this is a good, a useful first, pra a useful best practice, especially if we want to get into accessibility down the line when you're doing your tab order. But even just, you know, personally speaking, like just for organizational purposes, having everything in order is so helpful. It is the first thing that I do whenever I create a form. I take all the content and I order it up and then I wrap it in subforms based on its general location within the document. As you can see, which I've done right here, this top subform encompasses all this area. And as such, and then from here, if I were to make this document into a flowed layout, I would do it here. If I want to adjust, but seeing as it's positioned, I can change its size, width, height. I can change its anchor. Uh, I can change its alignment within the document. I can add in accessibility features. And yeah, subforms are the are an important first step when you bring your document over from, say, a static PDF or a Word document, and you're trying to make it into a dynamic PDF. Subforms will help you stay organized and you'll just avoid a lot of major headaches down the line. Subforms are necessary for getting the most out of so many features of Designer, such as accessibility, JavaScripting, um, and just overall ease of use. And yeah, that's all there is to that. Next time, I'm going to be fleshing out the difference between flowed versus positioned layouts. And until then, take care.